first time I got injured as an athlete, I did it mountain bike racing, and I fell instantly into this incredibly deep, dark pit of despair. Movement is a means for an athlete to process things, to deal with stress, to, to process life. And when we can't do that anymore, it's, it's bad news. My business is called Injured Athletes Toolbox because I can address and help with each of the unique and different challenges that injured athletes face. Does that hurt along here at all? Yes. Okay. Probably the most common patient that I refer to Heidi is the injured athlete who's had a chronic injury and really has had a difficult time getting over this. Often the most challenging thing for an injured athlete to, to accomplish is to return to play from the mental side of things. Heidi helps them find ways to find a new normal and they can be creative ways and they can be outside the box from a traditional physical therapist or a medical doctor. And those patients have had great success uh, going to injured athletes toolbox. Then that graft is called an autograft mm -hmm. and most commonly comes from He you sees them tendon. being very impatient or having unreasonable expectations. Dr. McDonald refers that patient to me so that I can help them find a new normal. I can help find new ways that they can cope with their injury, and I can help them learn that there's a whole world outside of their injury that they can live. But what we've done is we've sat down and identified his biggest challenges, so he has a really strong need to move. I think he, like a lot of patients that you and I communicate about, has a difficult time uh, with the patient's side of things. Uh, Injured athletes face markedly different pressures than the average patient and returning to sport or returning to play or even returning to life after a musculoskeletal injury. It's helpful in the sense that I've, I've been down the road before. And, and she's interviewed not just physicians and physical therapists, but a tremendous number of patients with varying injuries of chronicity and family members and friends and other healthcare professionals that are involved in helping an injured athlete get back on the job. When May first came to me, she felt lost. Didn't really kind of know what the next step was. She has shown me a compassion that is, I find kind of rare in this world sometimes. That just get me in the mood, you know, to dance. And I really try to bring people into the creative side of their brain. Whether that be painting, cooking, or a different kind of physical movement. Because that's the one place where injured athletes report feeling empowered. They report feeling less pain and they report feeling whole again. Heidi is who you need to work with if you want to talk to somebody that really understands what it's like to be injured and everything that comes with that and how to come out of that stronger. Working together, I can help you overcome the most common struggles that injured athletes face. Disconnection from your life that you love as an athlete and from your friends. Impatience that's causing you to make bad decisions and get back into your sport before you're physically healed. Anger that your body has let you down. The very thing that you use to connect with your life has betrayed you. Frustration because you can't do what you love and you can't participate in your sport. I wanted to be able to teach people that injury is an opportunity for them to gain and learn new tools that they can use for the rest of their life for any life challenge.